hey, y'all, uh, you know, I'm late and I'm going to always be late because I have to work and a lot of things that I want to uh, share with y'all that I don't get a chance to share with y'all. Uh, y'all, I appreciate y'all donate to the channel because it will help my, me uh, keep stream yard, okay? Because it's, you know, it's a little expensive for me at the moment. Uh, Mahogany Jackson, y'all remember 20-year-old Mahogany Jackson? Remember she was kidnapped and murdered her and, and sodomized and a lot of things happened to her. Now, um, you know, this happened back in July the 26th. Now, there were eight defendants that were charged, y'all. Believe it or not, the judge, uh... dismissed some of the charges against some of them people. And a lot of people had uh, uh, information in their phone letting them know that their involvement that they have, but the charges that were dropped from the judge can be brought back up in with a, in front of a grand jury. So let's take a look at this. Preliminary hearing. Prosecutors displayed still images from videos taken while Jackson was held against her will. ABC 3340's Gracie Johnson was in the courtroom today, and Gracie, some of the defendant's charges were reduced and even dropped. Muriel, based on testimony and evidence that was presented during the preliminary hearing, Judge William Bell found probable cause for the defendant to be bound over for grand jury consideration. But like you said, some of the charges were reduced. Brandon Pope, Jeremiah McDowell, Francis Harris. I love y'all. Let me let y'all see these criminals. And they just sitting in court like they ain't did. Man. Tasia Lewis, Giovanni Clapp, and Ariana Robinson were all in court Wednesday for the preliminary hearing. The prosecution presented graphic screenshots from videos. All of these were taken while Mahogany Jackson was held against her will before she was murdered. The photos depicted Mahogany being slapped, punched, stripped nude, and forced to perform sexual acts while held at gunpoint. Jefferson County District Attorney Danny Carr discussed the nature of the videos. Sheer brutality. Um, you know, the, the barbaric nature of it. Um, you can't substitute that by just the photos. I don't think I can understand about this is... They think they slit. They used the still photo to make it look like they ain't did then. But if they had the video, it would show more. But, uh, I don't know. There are eight videos total initially brought forward to law enforcement by an acquaintance who was able to provide copies of some of the videos and direct investigators to Jackson's body. Investigators discovered three additional videos late Tuesday night. All eight of the defendants are seen in a portion of at least one of the videos. Pope, McDowell, and Harris were initially charged with two counts each of capital murder. Pope and McDowell's capital murder charge on the basis of rape and sodomy were dropped. Harris's two counts of capital murder... Wow, are you serious? So that looked like some of them got, if they drop that, y'all, yeah, but they got to face a grand jury, though. But if they don't, if it stay dropped, they going to get away with this. Wow. And, and, and oh, Lord, how much? Both carried over. Lewis and Clapp were each charged with single felony murder charges and assault in the second degree. Clapp's assault charge was reduced to third-degree assault, which is a misdemeanor. <sighs> Lewis's assault charge was bound over. Robinson was present in court today, yet her felony murder charge was bound over by another judge. Now, while some of the charges today were dropped or reduced, Judge Bell said that it's clear that he made it clear that these charges can be brought back at any time by a grant. Yeah, man. They, they, man. Y'all remember this? But just... Yeah, yeah, this is mahogany. This y'all remember mahogany now when they jumped on her and beat her and did all of that through her. She got a little girl and she didn't make it, y'all. She passed away. 
requests and a motive. Well, Bria Chapman is live and on your side now after talking. Afternoon. That had to be a hard conversation, Bria. That's right, Sarah. So as you can imagine, she is devastated over losing her daughter and all, especially Jackson's three-year-old daughter, Nadia. Now, she posted on social media this morning messages from her daughter from Sunday morning where she was telling her friend and asking them to get to her as fast as they can. Now, unfortunately, they were not able to save her, but... I remember this right. But look, y'all, I just want to add my two cents. The harsh part about this situation is they let this girl call her mom. They let her either text her or either call her mom to let her mom know that this is what we're about to do to you. And then the judge turned around and dropped some of those charges. I'm out, y'all. Thanks for watching.